welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing y'all how i made this cute sleek intro the apps i use are CapCut, pixart and mojo they're all free except for mojo but they do have a free trial so you can go ahead and use that to make this intro if you make intros often i definitely think mojo is worth buying it's probably not my favorite app to make intros with but enough of me rambling, let's get into the intro. This is the model I used. As always, I just screenshotted some of her pictures from Instagram. And then you're gonna find a picture that you like and you're gonna screenshot it. And then you're gonna have to make sure that you crop it because after this, you're gonna go into her mood BG. And if you don't crop it until it's just a picture, you don't want any of the Instagram frame or any of that. If you don't crop that out, when you put upload it into your mood BG, it won't save as a PNG correctly, so make sure you crop it. So once you crop it, we're going to go to Remove BG. So you're going to go to Google and you're going to search Remove BG and then you're going to click the first option. And then you're going to click Upload Image and upload the image that you want to cut out. Once you upload your image, it will do all the work for you and cut out the background. So you're just going to hold down on it and then save it to your photos. Then once you do that, we're going to go to Mojo. Once you get into Mojo, you're going to scroll down to the templates. And then in this first slide, you're going to scroll to the third option and you're going to click that. Then you're going to click the text and delete it because you don't want it. And then you're going to click the paintbrush off to the side and hit format and then scroll to YouTube. I think it's already in YouTube format, but we're just going to make sure. Then you're going to hit background and you're going to go to the second option right here with the gradient circle effect. Then you're going to go to colors and you're going to hit the first box and edit the color. I'm going to choose the white color. I'm going to choose the picker off to the side. Then I'm going to click the hex button. Then you're just going to insert any color code that you want. This is the code that I'm going to use. So once you do that, you're going to hit save. And then you're going to hit save video. And after you save the video, we're going to go to CapCut. Once you're in CapCut, you're going to hit New Project and you're going to add the video that we just saved. Then make sure you click the ending and delete the CapCut watermark. Then you're going to click the video, you're going to scroll all the way to the end, and then you're going to hit Copy. That's just because Mojo's video is only like 4 seconds long and we want it to be a little longer just so we have room to make it shorter or longer if we want to. Then we're going to go to Effect. And we're going to scroll until we get to bling. And I'm going to scroll until I get to stellar. So I'm going to click stellar. And I'm going to hit adjust. And I'm going to turn the background animation to 50. Then I'm going to expand the effect all the way to the end. And this is what it should look like when you're done. And then we're finished with the background. So we're just going to go ahead and save that. And then we're going to go back into Mojo. So once we're on Mojo, we're going to scroll until we get to the YouTube format. We're going to click YouTube. Then we're going to go to the add your own video option. It's the first one. We're going to insert the video we just saved from CapCut. Then we're going to hit the plus button at the bottom of the screen. We're going to hit graphics. Then we're going to scroll. Then we're going to choose the long rectangular picture frame. And then we're going to insert the photo that we cut out the background from, from our move BG. So I'm just going to make that bigger. I'm going to place it in the middle. Then I'm going to hit the plus button again. I'm going to hit text this time. Then I'm going to go to caption. And I'm going to scroll until we get to the fading option the fading smoothly. I'm going to hit font at the bottom of the screen and Mojo lets you upload your own font so you can use any font that you want but I'm going to use one of their fonts. So I'm going to scroll and I have lots of fonts to choose from and I'm going to choose Carla regular. So once you choose your font we're going to click the text and then we're going to put in her channel name. So I'm going to type life, well part of her channel name. I'm going to type life 
and I'm gonna make that bigger and put that kind of in the middle next to her photo then you're gonna click the text and you're gonna scroll and you're gonna hit duplicate and then we're gonna go to font and instead of Carla regular we're gonna use Carla light and then we're gonna change life to as then I'm gonna make that smaller and then put it below life And then we're gonna hit the plus button again. We're gonna hit text, and we're gonna hit the golden title, the very first option. And then we're gonna type the rest of her channel name. Then we're gonna go to color. We're gonna scroll. And we're gonna choose a gray color so that it can be silver. Then we're gonna make this bigger and then we're just gonna choose what font we want I'm gonna use a font on mojo called Jan Bentley I'm not sure what it's called but it's this one and right in the middle so I make that bigger and move it over then I'm gonna click life and I'm gonna change the color from black to dark blue and this is a presetting color that's already in mojo and I'm gonna do the same thing to as and then you're just gonna watch your clip and see how it plays out. I don't like how as shows up after her name, so we're gonna change the duration. So we're gonna click it and we're gonna go to timing. We're gonna have life and as pop up first. Then I'm gonna see how that looks. So I'm gonna click her picture, I'm gonna hit timing. I'm gonna do her picture at 180 and I'm gonna do her name at two minutes. And this is what it should look like when you're done. So we're gonna go ahead and save that and we're completely finished with the first clip. Once you save the first clip for Mojo, you're gonna go to your Instagram feed and then you're gonna slowly scroll down your feed and screen record it, just like this. Once you do that, then we're gonna go to PixArt. When you get to PixArt, you're gonna click the plus button at the bottom of the screen. You're gonna scroll down and you're gonna click the transparent background. Then you're gonna scroll and you're gonna hit add photo. And then I'm gonna add a photo that I already removed the background from, from remove BG. Once you insert the photo, we're gonna click the photo and then we're gonna go to shadow. We're gonna go to color and we're gonna choose white. We're gonna position it to zero for vertical and horizontal. And then we're gonna adjust it to 80% opacity and 40% blur then you're gonna save that and I'm gonna do the same thing for one more photo so you're gonna save the second photo then you're gonna get rid of the photo then we're gonna go to sticker and we're gonna search gray Instagram logo I'm gonna choose the first option then we're gonna save that. Then we're gonna make it smaller and then we're gonna move it off to the side. Then I'm gonna go back to sticker and I'm gonna search black TikTok logo. I'm gonna use the first option in the fifth row. And then while we have the sticker selected, we're gonna go to adjust and we're gonna turn the contrast all the way down because we want the TikTok logo to match the Instagram logo. We want it to be the same color. So that's what we're doing here. Then you're gonna hit apply, make sure you hit apply. Then we're gonna hit adjust again. Then we're gonna hit brightness and we're gonna bring the brightness up until it matches the Instagram logo. I think 65 looks good, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Then I'm gonna hit apply. Then I'm gonna delete the Instagram logo and then I'm gonna save the TikTok logo. Once you save that, then we're gonna to go to CapCut. Once we're in CapCut, we're gonna hit a new project again and then we're gonna add the screen recording that we took from Instagram. We're gonna scroll and we're gonna change the format to 16 by nine. Then we're gonna click the video and we're gonna make it bigger so that it fits the whole entire screen. Then I'm gonna hit speed and I'm gonna slow down my video a little bit because I think I went a little too fast. 
I'm gonna do it at 0.5 and then I'm just gonna choose six seconds of the video that I like the most once you find the part that you like you're gonna click the video and you're gonna hit split and then you're gonna delete the end that you don't want so I'm gonna click the first half I'm gonna delete it and then instead of six seconds I'm gonna shorten it to seven seconds and then you're gonna hit overlay and you're gonna add the video that we saved from Mojo without the effect that we added from CapCut. So once you add that, we're gonna make it fit the screen. Then we're gonna copy it just so that it's long enough to fit the whole video. And then we're gonna shorten it. And then we're gonna change the opacity and I'm gonna change mine to 70. And don't forget to do that for both clips. This is what it should look like when you're done. Then you're gonna save that and then we're gonna go back to Mojo. Once we're in Mojo, we're gonna scroll to YouTube again. We're gonna click the first option again. And then we're gonna add the video that we just saved from CapCut. Then we're gonna hit the plus button. We're gonna hit graphics. We're gonna scroll and we're gonna choose the torn paper. Then we're just gonna leave that in the middle for now. Then we're gonna hit the plus button again. We're gonna hit graphics. Then we're gonna scroll and we're gonna use the rectangular picture frame again. And then you're just gonna add the two images that we added a shadow to in PixArt. I'm gonna make this one bigger and put it off to the side. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one. Then I'm going to click any one of the photos. I'm gonna go to timing and I'm gonna make sure that they both pop up at the beginning. Then I'm gonna hit the plus button again. I'm gonna hit text. And I'm gonna go to caption. And I'm gonna scroll and I'm gonna use fading smoothly again. I'm gonna change the font. And then I'm gonna use this font. I'm gonna make it smaller. And I'm going to type connect. I'm gonna change the color to the dark blue. It's like a grayish dark blue. I'm gonna have that be at the top. I'm gonna move the paper down a little bit. I'm gonna hit the plus button again. I'm gonna hit text. I'm gonna hit the first one, the golden title. I'm gonna type with me. I'm gonna change the font. I'm gonna use the font Carster. I'm gonna move it up and I'm gonna change the color to a dark gray. Or I like more like a medium gray. And I'm just gonna place it where I think it looks best. Make it a little bit smaller. Then I'm gonna hit the plus button again. I'm gonna hit graphics. I'm gonna use a circular frame in the middle. And then I'm gonna add the logos that we saved from PixArt. Once I add those, I'm gonna hit the plus button again. I'm gonna click text. And then I'm gonna go to caption. I'm gonna use the fading smoothly again. I'm going to type in her social handles. I'm going to change the color to the dark blue. And then I'm going to change the font. And I'm going to use the same font that we use for connect. I'm going to make it smaller so that it fits.
then I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to type in her TikTok handle. Once you do that, we're done with the second clip. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Once you save that clip, we're going to stay in Mojo. We're going to click my stories. We're going to click the first clip that we did. We're going to hit duplicate and edit. We're going to click the picture and delete it. Then we're just going to make all the words bigger and move it up. And then I'm going to click her name and I'm going to make it pop up just a little bit sooner. So I'm going to click it. I'm going to hit timing and I'm going to move it up a little bit. I like how that looks. So I'm going to hit the plus sign. I'm going to hit text. I'm going to scroll till we get to shop. I'm going to click buy now. And then I'm going to change it to say subscribe. I'm going to change the font. I'm going to use this font again. I'm going to change the color of the font to white. I'm going to change the yellow color to a dark blue. Then I'm going to change the timing of the subscribe button. I'm going to do two minutes. And that is what it should look like when you're done. So we're going to go ahead and save that. And then we're going to go to CapCut and add all three of our clips so that we can add transitions. Once you add all three clips into CapCut, we're going to delete the ending. We're going to click the white box in between the clips. I'm going to go to MG. And I'm going to use white ink for the first one. And I'm going to move it to 0.7 seconds. For the second one, I'm going to go to MG again. I'm going to scroll and I'm going to use wave right for 0.7 seconds. And then I'm going to shorten the clips. I'm going to do 3.5 for the first one. For the second one, I'm going to do 4 seconds. And for the last one, I'm going to do 3.5. Five seconds and this is what it should look like when you're done thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and comment and let me know what else you want to see from me you can also follow me on tiktok and instagram i'll have it linked down in my description below and yes thank you again for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one